Well, hello everybody. It's Marty Smith for PokerCalculatorReport.com. Here I'm doing my second video review of MagicHold'em.com. Last year this software was introduced and I did a review for it. The designers weren't too happy with my review and I did promise in all fairness to do it again for them uh, given that they were possibly going to do some changes and updates over the last little while. It's been well, six, eight months now, and I did another review. Hey, great graphic artwork, poor execution. It's basically the same stuff all over again. And I'm here, I'm going to show you why, in that there are a lot of poker calculators out there which make a lot of big claims on their website. Magic Hold'em is no different than many of them. But here at PokerCalculatorReport.com, I get to review these so these pieces of software before you guys sink your money into them. And this is one of those reviews. Great graphic artwork, poor execution. Pretty much sums up Magic Hold'em once again. First of all, let me get to the installation of this program. Once you do it, I absolutely hate software that takes over your computer. And I can show you right here after I set, after I set up my laptop, after I installed the program, there were not one, not two, but three icons placed on my desktop. Not only that, one of the worst things of all to have in your computer is a program that's installed in the system tray. This takes memory and working resources from your computer. So if you've got a few things running all the time, like I do on my laptop, this is going this software whatever's in your system tray is going to boot up every time you boot up your computer that now when you are installing software a lot of programs give you the option to install it in the system tray magic holden never did that they never gave me the option to do it or not had I, had they gave me the option i absolutely would have said no it automatically installs in your system tray that is a big bad no for any type of software so the installation didn't go too well to start Secondly, Magic Hold'em uses screen scraper technology. What this means is that by using a screen scraper or overlay feature, the software is reading information directly from your poker table window. So if that window is obstructed in any way, then your program ceases to work. So if you are just playing one table and you don't have any other software on your computer running, this isn't that bad. However, it is still a mathematical poker calculator. It does have nicely designed modules. It's easy to read and it does have a flexible layout in that you can actually close some of these uh, windows and uh, maneuver them around to your like. However, if I open up even a folder, it doesn't even have to be a program or anything else, just a simple folder on my computer. As you can see, Magic Hold'em absolutely disappears. I have no idea where it goes. It eliminates the program visuals of the screen. It makes multi-tabling virtually impossible. And for ring game players, that's a horrible thing. Ring game players constantly want at least a couple of tables going. I rarely see anybody playing just one ring. So to me, that sort of lends itself to poor research. So if you do pop open another poker table, Magic Hold'em will jump back and forth from one table to the other, not staying on one or the other. And it takes time for the software to grab the new table and read that information. So you're missing hands, you're delaying the game, you're cluttering up your computer screen to the point where it's absolutely just frustrating. Screen scraper technology really, to me, is is uh, outdated, inferior technology. I can't understand why a new program would use it, and I told them this to begin with. For some reason, they, they, they still stuck with it. Uh, anything can interrupt your game when you're using Magic Hold'em. A folder, program, email, another table, even your poker lobby is not easily accessible when you're running Magic Hold'em. So it's not very easy to actually see other tables that you might want to join or you might want to get into a waiting list for. That's, again, that just goes to uh, poor research, poor programming. Well, Magic Hold'em, even though it is a mathematical poker calculator, they did add one feature. However, that feature is problematic in that you get this overlay on, in the middle of your table, which is a nice feature, actually, but this is part of, 
part and parcel to the um, the overlay and screen scraper getting back to that in that it has to be clear it has to be one side you can't minimize and just cuts down the flexibility now they have these bot like recommendations I call them brainless recommendations because eventually you're just gonna get pegged as a bot like player just raising certain hands all the time and certain plays all the time and players are just gonna catch on to you here nonetheless it does have clearly visual uh, recommendations here to bet or raise now this simple bot like feature is actually not allowed uh, poker stars has actually banned magic Hold'em now because of it and I'm sure other sites will follow once they want once they catch on so you're gonna have a problem running this software on poker stars the biggest most profitable site to play on so you might like this at first, but really I find this more irritating than it is useful. Bot-like recommendations are brainless and they eventually will cost you money. Listen, here's another thing in regards to uh, Magic Hold'em. Right on Magic Hold'em sites it says, okay, you can play on PokerStars using it. But if you go to PokerStars list of prohibited software, well, you look under the prohibited list and there it is, Magic Hold'em sitting right there. If you look on PokerStars list of prohibited software, you will see this too. Magic Hold'em is sitting right there. So these guys at Magic Hold'em, really this is indicative of absolutely poor research and poor grounding in the poker world. And I find a lot of programmers who come out with these new uh, poker calculators are often misled by how good they can make it look and how and how they think how good their product is without actually asking real poker players to do it. So, so uh, just to recap, these critical miscues for uh, Magic Hold'em lack of poker experience is evident in their feature planning. Now, it is a mathematical poker calculator, but really, we all know that's already been done, and that's fading fast. Empirical poker calculators are the type of software you should be looking at. The program features actually dominate your computer and that goes back to the screen scraper the installation the system tray and multi tables you just can't use magic hold'em for multi tabling that makes it worthless to most ring game players online useless bot like advice is more trouble than it's worth you will get pegged and eaten alive by sharks at the table eventually this software is already banned by PokerStars, and I'm sure there will be more to follow. And keep in mind, PokerStars is the leading security site, and they generally set policy for others to follow. So that can't be good news for Magic Hold'em. Hey, it does look good. I love their graphics, but graphics are not enough to save a poor program, and you don't want to get involved with something like this just because it looks good. Hey, in saying that, conclusion, this is a poor value calculator. Uh, mathematical poker calculators are out, really. Don't even bother with them because there are better software out there. Empirical poker calculators are the way to go now. And if you want to see on my site, I have reviews for about five or six poker calculators. They're absolutely recommended. And sort of say, Magic Hold'em is way down that list. There is definitely some talent within the designers at Magic Hold'em, especially in the graphic design area, but really, uh, they've got to get back to the drawing board and rework this software. Hey, anyway, this is Marty Smith for PokerCalculatorReport.com. Another review here for you. If you'd like to see the rest of the reviews of all the popular poker calculators online, come to my site. Lots of free information there. Take care.